Hi there, Joka here and today I'm sharing these two cards with you that I created with some of the uh, Sparebinders dies from the Stained Glass Bouquet collection. This one here, this die set, is called Radiant Oval and it has this oval um, plus the flowers and this tiny little thing that I, I'm not sure what it is or what it is called. Um, so I had, well, I'm sure you see it as well. It, this looks like uh, sun, sunshine and uh, rays. So um, originally I actually wanted to create a rainbow uh, design here, but then because of the sun, I just went with uh, yellows. You will see that in a second. I'm die cutting everything from white cardstock, and in fact, these flowers or this flower cluster, I will die cut twice just to create uh, some dimension. Actually, uh, originally I didn't know that the, that's what I was gonna do because I I just wanted to see if I have two die cuts if I can. Uh, create a different kind of design. I, I played around with it a bit, but then um, I didn't go with that idea. So I selected some yellows here, as you can see, and then I die cut a few of uh, the rays from um, one certain color. So I'm not going to use all these cardstock actually, but. Um, you know, just some of them. And I'm going from light to dark. And once I've done that, I will also die cut just the oval. So from, from heavyweight white cardstock so that I have something to glue everything on, if that makes sense. And here I'm going through my Alexander Renke uh, scrap uh, paper. So these are the ones that I've already used. And I selected some blue and this is kind of like, I don't even know what kind of blue it is. It's a, it's a bit, it has a bit of a gray tone, uh, but it's absolutely gorgeous. And I thought that's a good neutral background for my um, sun here. And then you know, for the flowers, I'm going to use kind of uh, not quite a rainbow of colors, but a few uh, bold colors. So I wanted a neutral kind of background there. So here is what I was talking about. I die cut the oval so I can uh, piece these things back in into place. And what I'm going to mention here, sadly, one of the videos um, got damaged. So one of one of the footage that I had for this uh, these two cards was damaged. the The frames kept f um, freezing. I don't I don't know what happened, but I couldn't save that. So the end of this video is missing. But luckily, it's just um, the when I created the card base. So I apologize for that. This never happened before. I have no idea um, how. I, I didn't even notice when I recorded that something was wrong. So again, I apologize. So moving on to the flowers here. Um, I die cut the outline here as well, just so I could, um, you know, I had a um, possibility to place uh, everything or puzzle each piece back together and now I'm selecting the colors I want to use for the flowers there's um, four flowers on the um, or maybe I should say three flowers and the, a bud um, so I'm choosing uh, different colors for all of those and I have to die cut this in uh, sections because I, I wanted to use two different shades of the same color um, for each flower. I probably should have, uh, I mean, if I think about uh, real flowers, I probably should have used the darker color for the inside pieces, but I went the other way around. So I have dark colors on the 
outer petals and the inner ones are uh, lighter but i mean i'm not going for realistic here right so uh, for one of the flowers i used pink tones the other one is more like a magenta and maybe purplish and this one here is a bit of um like apricot i would say peach hmm. kind of coral color and then for the leaves i'm using two different greens one is kind of like a citrus green this this is or chartreuse a short yeah maybe that um one of my favorite greens um for plants and flowers and stuff like that so um it this process i i was actually actually very overwhelmed when i first saw the dye that oh my god i want to add color but this is gonna take me ages and surprisingly it didn't uh, it's it it's not so many pieces as it looks it really went fast uh, once i started i didn't really notice um the time passing so it, it was okay and it's also easy even though there are very small pieces as well but it's it's pretty easy to uh, place them back where they should go and again as you can see i'm keep using my tweezers they are so so handy honestly my most favorite and most used tool ever when it comes to card making okay so i'm nearly finished well <laughs> it actually doesn't look like it but i think i edited out that part of the video so you know you don't get all bored and there's one thing that i um will cover up here i die cut or place the this this lighter green um on the right side at the bud if you can see there's just too much light green for me so i will um uh, since i already um, glued that down here i'm placing another one over it so that will have a bit of a different dimension there but uh, since I cover this up uh, with another white die cut that will not even be visible and here I'm only adding glue on the middle part of the die uh, of the die cut just so that I have some movement on the uh, two sides there and some dimension and that's basically the whole design uh, of this card and then I will only um, add the sentiment so it's very simple and I'm creating the card base. This is a top folding A2 card base and it's just white. And then I'm going to trim down this blue, uh, like slightly smaller. And then I'm going to add some um, foam sheet. I finally found this double sided foam sheet. I was really, really excited about it. It's actually very thick. Um, I think it's from Crafters Companion. Is there a company like that? Now I'm uncertain. Crafters. Hmm. Oh my god. I think I said something wrong. It just doesn't seem familiar. All right. I have no idea what it's called. But anyway, I was really surprised that it's um, that thick and um but i kind of like it 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 makes the card sturdy so i like that okay so uh, i'm now creating my sentiment strip and again this is just from my stash of foiled sentiments that uh, i have i really need to create more because i'm running out i only have christmas ones now okay on to the second card and this is the video where I have a problem but this is the other another die set from this um, uh, collection the stained glass bouquet collection and this is called tulip trio this one is especially is the three tulips um, it does come with a, a few pieces 
but I'm only going to use the tulips, um, the, the, the trio and the circle die. I'm not using the frame for this project. Tulips are actually um, one of my most favorite flowers. My grandmother used to have them in the garden and back then they were in full bloom in uh, in May, beginning of May when my uh, when I have my birthday. So I got tulips for each of my birthdays. Nowadays, or at least here in Germany, um, it's hard to get them in May. So, okay, <laughs> back on to uh, topic. So um, I die cut this circle from white cardstock and I will die cut it again so I can create a, a more dimensional piece. And I decided to use the same blue card uh, or uh, pattern paper from Alexander Renke for my background here as I did on the previous card. So I die cut that and first um, I'm adding the um, tulips onto a circle, a white circle, and then I'm going to start filling in the pieces. And I'm starting with the blue blue background first, just because it's you know it's easier. It's already um, die cut, so I'm just quickly doing this. Actually, this one was also very fast. Uh, not a lot of pieces, so. I was surprised how uh, quick I was, um, how quickly I was done with this. And so this is the background, and I'm going to choose some um, stronger or bolder, brighter colors for my flowers. Um, you can see them off the right. So some pinks, some uh, I call them apricots before, right? <laughs> I don't know, some kind of coral, orangish kind of color. And magenta, purplish. Um, and again, I will use two tones for each flower. And here I actually use the darker one for the middle or for the center, I think, as far as I remember. So first I'm going to die cut those and then the uh, other petals. And I also, again, use two different greens for the leaves and stems just to create some variation. You know, the more colors, the merrier is what I think. So everything, when everything is in place or, you know, I figure out what colors I want to use, uh, on, especially on the leaves, which greens. Um, it's all uh, done, then I'm gluing everything down and I'm adding this second layer of um, outlines on top just to emphasize that stained glass look, you could say. And this is basically the whole card because now I'm just, this is another Alexander Renke paper and this is going to be my card panel and this is where the video is missing, but you can see it's very simple. The only thing I added is some see-through um, enamel dots and that's it. I hope you like these cards anyway. Again, I apologize that the part of the video is missing. Um, thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.